Welcome to The Great Place It Takes, and this is Chris Paul's Rich Lifestyle. CP3 is truly a star who's left his mark on NBA history. And it didn't hurt that he had a silver spoon childhood with great parents. A lot of our videos start with stories of homelessness and absent fathers, but those things just didn't happen to Paul. Growing up along CP1 and CP2, uh, I mean, Charles Paul, his dad, and CJ Paul, his brother, he had a very lucky childhood. His mom wanted to call his entire family CP something, so she gave both her sons the same initials as her husband. Nah, I'm just playing. The real reason Chris Paul's called CP3 is because he wears number three on his jersey, duh. So did Chris carry on the tradition and give his kids CP initials? I don't think so. Northwest is NW. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on, more on that later. So growing up, the Paul brothers worked at a service station their granddad owned. Paul looked up to his grandfather as a child and even still thinks of him as his best friend. He even said that his grandpops taught him more things that he could have even learned with a PhD. Aw, ain't that sweet. So there's a layup joke in there about a famous Kanye West line and, and Kim's sexual preferences, but we're gonna keep it classy here at GPT. But sadly, just as Chris Paul was accepted for playing for Wake Forest College, his grandfather was tragically murdered just because five young men wanted to rob him and take his wallet. It's a truly heartbreaking story, and even though Chris Paul had time with Grandfather Jones, it wasn't enough for him to really see Chris Paul reach his potential and become an NBA star. But I'm sure his grandpas would be proud today. Even though CP3 still doesn't have a ring, he's one of the richest players in the league. And it's likely because his granddad taught him how to be savvy with money and leadership. So let's get into his lifestyle. Now this guy is regularly ranked as one of the highest paid athletes in the world by Forbes magazine. At the ripe age of 37 years old, Paul signed a four-year, $120 million contract with the Phoenix Suns and a yearly salary of about $30 million. During this season in 2022-2023, Paul will earn a base salary of a cool $28.4 million. Dang. But is it an overpay to pay the 37-year-old Paul like one of the best players in the league? Well, as the saying goes, players get paid for what they've done, not what they'll do. Shout out to Gilbert Arenas. And with Chris Paul already having a net worth of 354 million, he can't expect much less. But he's only made about 300 mil in the NBA. So where's the rest of those mills come from? And I bet you know what I'm about to say next. Good old endorsement deals, baby. Now, it's clear that this dude got a bang for his buck in advertising. He's a regular in commercials, and has even endorsed in a few major international campaigns. His endorsements alone bring in roughly $8 million a year, and he makes another $5 million each year from his shoe deal. Chris Paul's been with Jordan Brand for 15 years now, and over those 15 years, CP3 has released over a dozen signature shoes with them, but he also works at Spalding, Disney, Tissot, Panini, and of course, you can't forget those classic Cliff Paul State Farm commercials. On top of all that, Disney's helping him work on a biopic about himself, but they wouldn't trust him on screen if he didn't have some experience. Paul's been on more than 10 State Farm commercials over the years. Some even called him the face of State Farm during his stint with the Clippers. And he's also a member of Spalding's Honor the Game campaign, and he works with Panini on their trading cards and autographed merchandise. This man understands the value of cash flow. Multiple streams, baby. But real wealth isn't built just by working for other people. Money savvy people know that true wealth is built by investing. So let's check out his portfolio. Chris Paul has invested 48 million in Hyperice and another 4 million in Chirpify. But in addition to investing in these companies, Paul invests in his most important asset as an athlete by making sure to take care of his health. Chris went vegan in 2019 and has even promoted the fake meat brand Beyond Meat. He's also released a line of vegan snacks with a company called Go Puffs. Some of his snacks include nacho cheese flavored tortilla chips, cookies and cream popcorn, and cinnamon sugar donut puffs. Hmm, <laughs> them vegan options don't sound too healthy to me, but at least he ain't repping Mickey D's. Now, can I get a subscribe and a comment for everyone sick of high performance professional athletes promoting fast food that rots your body? Anyways, we know how CP3 makes his bread, but I know y'all came here to see how he spends it. So let's check out how he blows his cash. Real estate. 
The Phoenix Sun star has owned a lot of houses in his day, including an $11 million mansion in Encino, a $7 million mansion in Houston, and another $7 million mansion in Phoenix. Jeez, this guy sure likes his mansions. The Phoenix Mega Mansion is 7,400 square feet, with five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a six car garage. Not to mention floor to ceiling glass walls that give him mountain and city views. And when the family feels like being outside, they can enjoy a giant infinity pool complete with water fountains and a hot tub. That's a lot of square feet for just a family of four. I guess he must have a lot of visitors. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And what about when he has to drive to a game, or a meeting, or a late night rendezvous? What whip does CP3 use to creep down the block and make a right, as they say? Let's check out CP3's car collection. With a net worth of over 300 M's, Chris has some cash to blow. So his luxurious auto collection shouldn't surprise you. This dude has a collection that includes a Mercedes Maybach S680, which cost him about $300,000 and it comes with seat massagers and a sunroof. CP also decked it out with some cool ambient lighting. Now when Chris wants to keep it casual, he'll drive in his white Jeep JKU Wrangler. You know, the one with no doors. This car probably set him back around $120,000 as it had a custom paint job, interior, and rims. But when he really wants to flex, he pulls up in his black Ferrari 488 that costs $240,000 and is only rivaled by his classic black 1977 Chevy Monte Carlo. The classic ride set him back $300,000 plus whatever it costs to renovate it. Some old school classic and some new whips. This guy's got varied taste and here at GPT, we appreciate that. Just like Chris Paul appreciates that he's an extremely fortunate man and does what anyone with more than they need should, give to charity. Chris Paul works with many charities, including the After School All-Stars, Aid Still Required, Boys and Girls Club America, Girl Up, and Make It Right. He also runs the Chris Paul Family Foundation, which he started in 2005 with the Winston-Salem Foundation, honoring his grandfather's memory. Great houses, great cars, and a great person. Maybe, because due to some recent news, his marriage may be on the rocks. Paul married his college boo, Jada Crowley, in 2011, and looking at that $7 million Phoenix mansion where they all live, you might think they have the perfect life and perfect relationship. However, if you look a little deeper, you'll see that just isn't the case. Last Friday, Ye decided to break one more window before he got booted from Twitter. He wrote this with a picture of Chris Paul beneath it. Before we get out of here, I caught this guy with Kim. Good night. Dang, it's the good night for me. He dropped this bomb the night his Twitter account was suspended. And honestly, whether it's true or not, I don't know if I would piss off the woman who has custody of my kids and who I have to pay 200 thou every month. By the way, Sharon, if you're listening, please call me. Your check's gonna be a little late this month. Unless we get some new subscribers to the great place it takes, y'all. So don't forget to hit that red button. So in the past, Kanye's accused her of cheating with Drake and Meek Mill. And even though he apologized for that, fans speculate that she likely did. Is Ye a little nuts? Yeah, but do we really trust a woman like Kim to keep it all for one guy, especially when half the men in the world want to hit that? So realistically, these rumors about Kanye walking in on Chris Paul and Kim when Chris was playing for the Clippers could be true. And that may mean Chris will lose the only ring that he's ever gotten. Haha, <laughs> that's tough. And that's all for now, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.